All right, guys, we got Robert's truck here. <clears throat> actually, it's Robert's truck, and it just hit me a little bit ago. Uh, this is actually the cheap EGR Delete Totals the truck. Truck. And look at that. He don't have thinner skirts on here. This is the cheap EGR Delete Totals the truck. Truck. Uh, I think that thing, we actually look back at it. It's got like 150,000 views on it. Hey, we need fender skirts. Okay, but uh, we're putting injector nozzles in. Actually, we put cab mounts in. A couple other things. Uh, we need to, Robert, we can't, rem I think Julie was struggling remembering everything. But we did put cab mounts in it. Uh backs and then fronts I'm sure yeah new cat mounts on the back and the front uh, I'm not sure if we did that one back there but right now we're doing nozzles uh, we fired it up it was real freaking cold uh, it was it, it wasn't sounded very it was kind of loping like a bad ICP sensor let me find let me find all the stuff ICP sensor in a, a six liter uh, actually kind of acts like a fuel rail pressure sensor so uh, they're cheap here's all his parts right here uh, we're gonna put new glow plug wires on it we're gonna go ahead and do the glow plugs uh, yanked all them out we're gonna take fuel rail sensor out uh, that, that's I mean I think it's like 30 bucks for a fuel rail sensor and it when they do go bad it will cause a funky ass idle uh, we did put all the nozzles in all the old nozzles there's all the old ones uh, the new ones are still in the container here. Let's look. We actually are going through. We're going to go ahead and take it and, I mean, do what we do to Robert's truck and make it look like it came out of the first bay. That truck had actually been in the first bay before, but we didn't tear the engine down. We just did uh, uh, six-liter manifolds. This thing has six-liter manifolds on it, and we had to custom cut the downpipe, and it was... It was kind of crazy on this thing, but it does have six liter manifolds on it and custom up pipes and we made all that stuff here, but like all of his parts, you know, we're going to go through and clean it all up. I mean, <clears throat> it takes us forever to get to jobs, to get through trucks because, you know, I mean, we do stuff like that, but, uh, so all new, obviously injector tubes and O-rings and then little tubes are freaking expensive as hell. You're going to drop over $200 for a set of injector injector tubes and o-rings install kits uh, but we got to pretty much oh we got to change oil use a motorcraft cap damn it ah, damn it quit using that shit put a motorcraft cap on that thing quit using that wicks all those part stores have motorcraft filters 2016 it's the 2016 filter uh battery terminal oh my god we need a power wash and band battery terminals off it actually chewed the hell out of it look Parts of it fell apart. Uh, the battery cables are actually no longer available, so that little battery cable is priceless. Uh, I mean, we could shoehorn some parts on it, but put some ends on it and make a make a cable to connect the two. But uh, we'll go through. I mean, valve cover bolts get painted. All the crossover tube bracket. The crossover tube bracket is a pain in the ass, and Darian's doing that. It'll make that sucker look. It'll look wonderful uh, other than that hold downs uh, there's there's probably other stuff I, I can't remember everything uh, oh we got a seat redone got the seat redone it's all new this is the truck that we put new carpet in we put Ford carpet in here uh, look at that he's protecting it too yeah uh, dang it's dirty act like he farms with this truck or something <laughs> But this is a truck, GPGR Delete, total truck. That's pretty cool. So you can go ahead and finish this up. But the, oh, I was gonna show you the injectors. Here you go. Let's see the injectors. Yeah, guys, store them in oil. We got brand new nozzles on the injectors. I'm only, I'd like to show this because you, uh, there's no, that there is absolutely no proving that you put nozzles in once you fire that truck up because those nozzles will instantly get dirty and dark. Let's see, you can't really see them very well. Let me, what if I turn the flash off? Let me see if I can find a writing on this. I don't think it'll focus on it. Whatever, they're continental. They say continental on them. So, 
put new nozzles in them. Uh, honestly, and I agree with that. Robert was actually thinking about that for when <clears throat> emissions, you know, this thing's been deleted for a little bit, but uh, during emissions in a 6.4, the number seven, number eight injectors do get worked harder than all the other injectors during regen. You know, they're throwing more, so... Uh, you know, getting a, getting a reset on the spray pattern now that this truck will never regen. I mean, it hasn't regen in years, but uh, getting a reset on the spray pattern. And hopefully, you know, if there was anything wrong with those nozzles and they were shooting a funky spray pattern out, uh, hopefully we caught any damage, right? There, there could be pits and pistons. I mean, there could be. I mean, from nozzles, that's... You know, they like have a hot, they, they shoot out, I get, I don't know. I mean, it's just from what I've seen taking heads off. But the uh, getting a reset on it, maybe, you know, hopefully we can keep these pistons alive. You know, we want to keep, stay away from cracked pistons, that's for sure. Uh, so, yep. All right, guys, that's it. Matt, uh, yeah, it's Robert's truck. It's actually nice. It's a nice truck, so. Nozzles, glow plugs, fuel rail pressure sensor, and a freaking oil filter cap. Ah, damn. All right, guys, have a good day.